just no substitute for human party decorations. Like those little pointed hats. Look, a castle even. That's something humans usually make out of rocks to keep other humans from stealing their food. All right, so all we need to do is get to that house and then across those wires. Any questions? Uh, sorry, did you just say wires? As in the thin, cable-y things that electrocute and such? Hey, I guess we can deal with getting across that bridge for now. Why can't all yards we almost die crossing be this well decorated? I haven't seen this much pink since that one time I got stuck inside my tongue. Hey, a castle. Reminds me of those medieval logs our ancestors lived in. First, we get to try and make it to that house without dying, and then across those wires without dying. For a minute there, I actually thought you said wires. You know, like the electrical current carrying kind. Don't worry, we still need to figure out a way across that bridge first. Yay, it's my birthday! Why didn't you tell me? Well, you gotta give the humans credit. They sure know how to make us want to smash their stuff. Yay, a castle! Maybe this will help me come up with ideas for the catapult I made out of cereal the other night. Hmm, so where I see it, we need to get over to that house that will cross those wires. Whoever said a scope slide would be easy, really scoped us. Really? Wires? The kind that can hurt us? This is the happiest minute of my life. But first, we gotta get this bridge working. Hey, human birthdays look all right to me. You see that, Kate? Yeah, I'm really digging their use of space. It really screams, smash everything pink! I'm a girl and all, but a pink castle? Come on, who wants to play in that? Okay, here's the fun part. We just have to get to the house and across those wires. Who says adventure never comes in twos? Wires? Finally, we haven't fallen or been electrocuted for almost three whole minutes. Look, let's just worry about getting that bridge down first. Heather, float us some specs on this attic here. Cell phone sensors are picking up some kind of barrier. Signal locked. Okay, guys, look for this. It's your way out. Find something heavy. Thanks, Heather. You're a real doll. Ready, gang? What do you have for us on the attic, Heather? Cell phone sensors are picking up some kind of barrier. Signal locked. Okay, guys. Look for this. It's your way out. Hmm. Find something heavy. <laughs> How hard can that be? Thanks, Heather. Let's go. Hey, Heather, we're in a human attic. She yeah, this much. Cell phone sensors are picking up some kind of barrier. Signal locked. Okay, guys, look for this. It's your way out. I get to carry something heavy. Woohoo! Ready or not, here we go! Nice attic. Or is it? Heather, what you got for us, sister? Cell phone sensors are picking up some kind of barrier. Signal locked. Okay, guys, look for this. It's your way out. Find something heavy. Probably end up carrying it, too. Let's get a move on. Once again, we're ollie ollie and... I don't like the sound of that. Incoming! Well, that wasn't so... I can almost hear our fur sizzling. Battle station! I hear cereal. That sure don't sound like Ozzy with the wagon.
Raccoons usually have badgers in their basements? Best guess, in a few minutes, picking raccoon fur out of his teeth.
doing? Fair fight at it. Well, at least we can do is keep the sniffer off Ozzy's back. Let's do this. And that oncoming engine of doom is my cue to exit stage this way. Why give us legs if we want meant to be brave? We'll keep the sniffer off you. Just don't look back. What connection? I just had the most incredible dream. I was playing dead so well.
You handle the long range. I'll take the ones up close. I have the show after all. I know. You get the ride that I can't reach, and I'll hit the ones you can reach. You shoot the ones outside spraying range. Leave the rest to me and my tailpipe. Come on, we gotta find a way through the mountain. Hopefully practicing on those molehills all night is about to pay off. Come on, we need to find some way through the mountain. Mountains are mostly hollow, right? Hooray for everything! Now let's find a way through this mountain. Don't worry, I brought my lucky digging stone. On that note, let's get out of here and try and find some way through this mountain. That's why we go under mountains. I know this is a silly question, but you sure this is even remotely safe? Shh, we're right below Vincent's den. Just imagine, it's only a few feet above us. I'm sorry, but weren't we here to pill for a satellite dish? I like food as much as the next turtle, but... Yeah, you said it. Satellite TV rules. I couldn't agree more. smells and probably tastes like? Yeah, it looks that way. Open your mouth and get ready to run. I think it's about to start raining food. If the place caves in, I know how to swim through solid rock. I saw it on TV. Yeah, you might want to keep it down. I think we're right under the bear's lair. Just a thought. Don't forget the satellite dish. That's how hungry I am right now. I can eat the whole dish. Oh, good point. I'd much rather get eaten over one of those. I was just thinking chip for the past six hours, and behold. Uh, I predict a strong chance of showers in the weather. Crunchy, salty chip showers. Get ready to run. Something tells me this place ain't exactly safe. Hey, are we right below Vincent's den? I can almost smell the food from here. Guess instead of worrying about getting noshed by a bear, I should just be rejoicing over acquiring a satellite dish. Just like that skunk in that fable, Hammy Rope. Maybe we can use the satellite dish to pick up food signals from space. Is that what I think you wish it was? All my angry letters to the Weather Channel must have paid off. They're making it rain food! Hello? Well, the place didn't cave in just now. I call that a plus. Wait a minute. Aren't we right below Vincent's den? I know he's got food, but dang! And a satellite dish, don't forget. We're not just common food thieves, you know. We're classier than that. You got me there. I hate it when my shows are all static. Is that a chip at your toenails, or are you just happy to see me? Well, I can think of worse stuff about to rain down on us. Open wide and aim for the cars. Yeah, I don't want to sound pushy, but I think we might want to consider getting to Vincent's den before Eddie and he lands on our heads. Gee, we have appeased the cave-in gods. Let's go to Vincent's den and celebrate while he tries to eat us. Normally, I'm not in a hurry to find an angry bear's den, but in this case, I think I'll make an exception. Quick, we gotta get to Vincent's den before this whole place comes down on us. Time only flows forward. He's not there. He can't be there. It says so right here in the plan I meant to write. So what you're saying here is, you're sure Vincent hasn't come back? Yeah, he won't be back. I'm sure. That, I almost think. I officially predict those words will come back to haunt at least one of us. Our lips held out so far, so it stands to reason that Vincent can't be anywhere in the vicinity. No, no, I get where you're coming from. What you're saying is, A, Vincent hasn't come back, and two, tacos! I'll even bet you a raccoon. One in particular. You said a mouthful. I can taste the difference. There's no way Vincent could be there waiting for us. Put it this way, I'd look a little silly if he was. And just to clarify, what you're saying is that Vincent can't be anywhere within a thousand miles, right? Please. When a bear cave has all this bear dung in it, it doesn't mean there's a bear silly. Can't argue with that, because I wasn't listening. seen him yet. Long as we keep our eyes closed, we'll never see him at all. In other words, Vincent's gone and never coming back. I bet my reputation on it. How could Vincent be here? 
Why trying to make me pay a noise? I couldn't have put it more succinctly. That's how pushed I feel. Careful through there. Vincent told me they don't call this squash fool pass for nothing. I lost a bet over it. Watch your step. I'm no geologist, but this place looks a little on the crushy, agonizing side. This place reminds me of catching snowflakes on my tongue. Only giant rock-sized ones. Looks like a winter wonderland. I don't like the looks of this. Guess I'd rather be a salt flapjack than bear dinner. Um, yeah. What's the deal with these exactly? Vincent takes, I mean, he used to take security very seriously. Yeah, but he's not here now, right? Uh, no. Guarantee. These traps are anything but red flags. Oh, Vincent laid out some toys for us to play with. Maybe this is bear speak for, please come visit me. I am not a peppermint meteor, despite my minty fresh smell. Let's look on the bright side. We have no choice. I take it Vincent's not big on having house guests. Just following the motion with your eyes is good exercise for your skill. Long as he's not here in the flesh eating our flesh, though. Look, Worry Wart, I happen to be fluent in over nine languages. Please be me. Oh, yeah, these. Well, it's awful nice of him to go to all this trouble on our account. The important thing is that he's not here. Guess I'll just take you at your word and hope for the second worst case scenario. Hey, where's Vincent's cave exactly? I mean, we have to be getting close based on the hundreds of steep miles we just climbed. Yep, almost there. Couple more exits. All this for an empty dish. Sure, sure, TV, I know. Not much farther, I predict. We still got quite a ways to travel still. And where's the food? Yeah, it must be getting close. Death, the way out, one or the other. Just pretend we already have the satellite dish and we're watching a nature program. We almost there, what? I don't know how much longer I can take not getting eaten. Sure, that's only the fourth time I've seen that stalactite there. I'm starting to think maybe we should have just gotten the actual satellite, because it's closer. We gotta be almost there. My stomach's growling like that bear I smell. At least we can't go much further without giving up all hope. I'm pretty sure installing the satellite dish is way less hassle than this. Well, this looks pretty inviting and empty. Wait a minute. Red flag. Hmm. Well, where there's a door, there's usually a key that needs finding. Let me guess. The keys are near the cliff's edge, and it's a bottomless pit. I've been on this date. Hey, what are you worried about? Aren't you the species that always lands on its feet? Gosh, so this is a cave, and I thought those bats I was talking to were just making stuff up. Why do I get the feeling that door's locked, and no one here remembered to pack a crowbar? With any luck, we'll find keys right near the edge of the bottomless pit. It's just common sense. Great, let's go. No time like the present to risk the future. This place really puts the cave back in cavern, huh? Hey, look and look! I bet there's a key somewhere we could use to jimmy open the hinges and dismantle it. Let me guess. The keys are sitting right at the edge of the cliff, above the bottomless pit. Don't worry. Squirrels can fly. I saw it in a book during a dream I was having.
dark, creepy tunnel filled with poisonous gases. <laughs> Don't fret, Berman. Once I get you back to Berm Tech, we'll fit you with nice little caps. You'll be nice, soulless, atomic. Hold the phone. They're gone. Unless you want to take your chances with what's his face and his band of fun. Buddy, I got a hand to those humans. Where are we going? Down here, where it's safe. Safe? Down there? In the dark? Without snacks? <laughs> Don't fret, Berman. Once I get you back to Berm Tech, we'll fix you with nice little caps that can be nice, soulless, atomic. Hold the phone. They're gone. Yeah, it's sewers of a sniffer. Your call. This looks pretty inviting. Where are we headed now? I thought it might be safer if we took this toxic airless passageway. Safe? I ain't getting in that stinky crawl space. What do I look like? <laughs> Don't fret, Berman. Once I get you back to Berm Tech, we'll fix you with nice little caps and you'll be nice, soulless, atomic. Hold the phone. You're gone. Shouldn't we ask the sniffer his advice first? Anybody have the slightest idea where we're headed? Where does it look like, fool? A safe haven. You have a funny idea of what constitutes safety. <laughs> Don't fret, Berman. Once I get you back to Berm Tech, we'll fix you with nice little caps and you'll be nice, soulless, atomic. Hold the phone. You're gone. Into the sewers. Come on. This way. We're almost somewhere else. Can't be much further. And to what? I have no idea. But come on. Now who's got egg on their face? Money protein! Almost there. I mean, still here. Who's that mole think he is? And what do you think he's holding? I'm not sure, but I have a feeling it was intended for us to enjoy. Correction, definitely for us. He's on his over. Well, what's that he's holding? Never mind that. He has something for us. What a generous scavenger. Yeah, that's for our benefit. And that won't come. Wow, a real life wall. And he's holding a real life thing? No. But I have a feeling it was meant for us. Oh, and we didn't get him anything. Great. A mole. Better yet, a mole holding a... What is that thing? I wanted that of myself, but I get these really bad apathy attacks. No problem. I know this is kind of a long shot, but I don't suppose you could tell us how to get into that house? Can I? <laughs> can I? Yeah, can you? I can do more than tell you. I can show you. Watch and learn the Tao of Human Architectural Entry Tactics. Step one. Find an open window. I guess that went well. To teach is to learn. Hey, thanks for the cage breakage. I wanted that of myself, but I get these really bad apathy attacks. Oh, please. It was nothing. Literally. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. Can you tell us how to get into that house over there? You're a blue jay and all. Can I? Actually, I think it's me, you. I can do more than tell you. I can show you. Watch and learn the Tao of Human Architectural Entry Tactics. Step one, find an open window. Yay, Pete! To teach <laughs> is to learn. <laughs> hey, thanks for the cage breakage. I wanted that of myself. But I get these really bad apathy attacks. That sounds fun. I use a boomerang. Say, dog, y'all got any idea how we can get into that house over yonder? We locked ourselves out. Can I? <laughs> can I? What are you, a mockingbird? I can do more than tell you. I can show you. Watch and learn the Tao of Human Architectural Entry Tactics. Step one. Find an open window. 
When in doubt, ask the Blue Jay. Now we know. To teach <laughs> is to learn. <laughs> hey, thanks for the cage breakage. I would have done it myself, but I get these really bad apathy attacks. I can identify. You wouldn't happen to have any theories on how we might get into that house over there, would you? Can I? <laughs> can I? Well, I can do more than tell you. I can show you. Watch and learn the Tao of Human Architectural Entry Tactics. Step one, find an open window. Thank you, Rufus. That'll be all. To teach <laughs> is to learn. <laughs> now, let's just make our way as noisily as possible. Keep it down. We're gonna have to stay away from those shaved rats. We have to get across the room. I suggest we sneak to the other side. Now, all we have to do is find the... Quiet! I can't even hear myself yell! Alright, all we gotta do is get to that switch without waking up those chihuahuas. Couldn't be any simpler. I minored in sneaking back at the Academy of Squirrel Motor Skills. Wow, it looks so much bigger on the inside. Humans are miracle workers. Hey, put a sock in it. I say we hit the switch. It might wake the doggies up so we can play with them. Let's get to it. When it comes to sneaking across living rooms, a skunk's one of your top four best bets. This don't look so bad. Let's just... Shh. We're better off hitting that switch and going stealth so as not to wake the sleeping beauties. We'll have to sneak through. Stand back and watch a master of living room traversal at work. Oh, did you happen to see those real cute little dog fellas there? Ah, oh, jeepers. I just wanted to zip them up in my pouch, take them home with us, and have them for honest. Let's just say I've seen cuter. You get the food from the wagon there, all squared away then, huh? Yeah, sure thing, Betty. Just let us know what you need, and we'll throw it through. Guys, you might want to hurry. Those two sweet little nightmares just scuttled upstairs, and it sounds like they're skipping to wake the dead. Happen to see those real cute little dog fellas there? Ah, oh, jeepers. I just wanted to zip them up in my pouch, take them home with us, and have them for honest. They kind of leaned more towards unholy, to be perfectly honest. You get the food for the wagon there all squared away then, hon? Sure, Penny. Just go up what you want. We'll fly it through the window. Guys, you might want to hurry. Those two sweet little nightmares just scuttled upstairs, and it sounds like they're skipping to wake the dead. Happen to see those real cute little dog fellas there? Ah, oh, jeepers. I just wanted to zip them up in my pouch, take them home with us, and have them for honest. Yay, for us. I mean, huh? What was the question again? You get the food for the wagon there all squared away then, huh? Yeah, yeah, just hip us to what you need and we'll toss it out. Guys, you might want to hurry. Those two sweet little nightmares just scuttled upstairs and it sounds like they're skipping to wake the dead. Did you happen to see those real cute little dog fellas there? Ah, oh, jeepers. I just wanted to zip them up in my pouch, take them home with us, and have them for honest. Yeah, cute in a brown tuna sort of way, I guess. You get the boat for the wagon there all squared away then, huh? Just let us know the score, and we'll toss it out the window to you. Guys, you might want to hurry. Those two sweet little nightmares just scuttled upstairs, and it sounds like they're skipping to wake the dead. You're just in time. I have an urgent announcement to make. There are a couple of loose chihuahuas running around. Don't worry, we'll watch for the dogs, Ozzy. Just get the wagon going. You're just in time. I have an urgent announcement to make. There are a couple of loose chihuahuas running around. Don't worry, Oz. Mere dogs are no match for a squirrel. Wagon ho! Just in time. I have an urgent announcement to make. There are a couple of loose chihuahuas running around. We'll handle the dogs, Oz. You just get this wagon to warp speed. You're just in time.
in time. I have an urgent announcement to make. There are a couple of loose chihuahuas running around. Well, keep an eye out where the pooch is, Ozzy. Just get the wagon moving. Yeah!
guess we just have to pick up all this again and hope no more trucks hit us in the meantime. Ozzy, you get the wagon over to the yard there. We'll handle the food getting. Oh, and maybe stay out of the street this time. Might save us some time and lives, but especially time. You know the drill, Chuck. Find the phone for me and I'll come pick it up. It's called symbiosis. Or busy work, depending on your age range. Now, that's what I call incentive. That's what I call get moving! Let's make like a wagon load of food and get out of here. Three of those bags of chips are mine, FYI. Three? Flying food around works up an appetite. Yeah, you wouldn't understand. Why? All right, you can't fly. Now let's mosey before the price goes up. Let's make like a wagon load of food and get out of here. Three of those bags of chips are mine, FYI. You don't say. Flying food around works up an appetite. Yeah, you wouldn't understand. Why? All right, you can't fly. Now let's mosey before the price goes up. Let's make like a wagon load of food and get out of here. Three of those bags of chips are mine, FYI. Wagon load? Flying food around works up an appetite. Yeah, you wouldn't understand. Why? All right, you can't fly. Now let's mosey before the price goes up. Let's make like a wagon load of food and get out of here. Three of those bags of chips are mine, FYI. Based on what again? Flying food around works up an appetite. Yeah, you wouldn't understand.